Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Welcome to the 2023 Project Orchids Phase 2. So this is where we will go over the eight plants that you chose right back in January probably. Um, or help me choose. <laughs> I did override one or two. Um, so the format for Phase 2 will be at the beginning of the video proper, this is an introduction, this will just be on this one. Uh, I'll only explain it once. Um, so if you miss it, you'll miss the introduction. So basically, the video will consist of looking at the plant in plants in the same order that we did them last time. So this video is about orchid number one, Dendrobium lindleyi. And it will be a video about how the plant is now and how I'm looking after it now in April. The previous video was how it was in February and how I was looking at after it in February. So you can see we're building up a care guide for the whole season, slowly but surely, which is the idea. Um, but we still need access to the first video for this orchid. And the way I'm going to do it is it's going to come up as an info card. Now I'm not sure all devices can see info cards. So in addition, I will put the link to that video in the description. Um, the idea being that you start watching the video and then when I sort of say so, you either click on the info card and go and watch the first video if you want to, or you pause that video and get into the description and click on the link and go and see that video if you want to. Now, some devices don't show descriptions, phones for instance, on the normal YouTube app um, yet. <laughs> they may get that sorted one day. But what you can do on a phone is basically switch to desktop mode, which makes the image you see for YouTube more like it would be on a laptop. And to do that, I'll put a pop-up now. So your basic principle is open Chrome, yeah, type in youtube.com and hit send or enter or tap or whatever. Don't select other options, type that in and send it off. And then you get three little dots on the right hand side. Use that, scroll down, find desktop site or desktop mode or whatever and select that. And you will now see it like it, it looks like on a, a laptop or a computer. And then when you watch the video, you choose to watch the video, underneath the video is the description. And I'm told on some devices the info cards are there as well, but I, ca I, I can't verify that. So that's as much help as you're going to get to try and get to watch the info card or find the link in the description. If you're watching on a smart TV, tough. <laughs> you won't be able to do either. <laughs> you can always go and watch it on your phone, for, just for that one thing. A lot of people actually um, cast their phone across to their TV anyway, so uh, they can do the bits on the phone and then watch it on the big screen. So that's the format anyway. The video will start, once I finish rabbiting, about Dendrobium Lindleyi, and as the video progresses through, you will get an info card near the beginning, so that you can, if you click on that, it will pause the current video, take you to that one, and you can watch that or some of it. When you bail out of that or it finishes, you come back to where you left off on the original video. And um, if you can't see the info card, you can choose to go down the uh, link in the description. So that will be the basic format. And as I said, as we progress through the year, we will gradually build up individual care guides for eight, nine week periods throughout the season. So by the end of the season, we should have about five. What I'm gonna do at the end of the season, I haven't finally decided yet, but in some shape or form, it might be nice to link all the videos together so you've got a complete care guide for a whole season for a specific dendrobium or whatever orchid it is. So there we go. <laughs> That's enough rabbit. Um, Losing daylight here. <laughs> What's the expression? We're burning light. <laughs> uh, it is getting late in the day, but um, yeah, I, I, this video is sh the actual video about the plant will be relatively short, so it's uh, not much more to go, if you know what I mean. And while I'm on, 
I don't think there will be a video tomorrow. It should be everything in bloom on the 8th. I, I've got too much to do faffing around in the morning to get ready to go to the Orchid Society meeting. Um, so I'm just going to leave that. I'll probably do it Monday. Um, the fact that it's not on the 8th doesn't make a huge amount of difference. I don't think people have alarms and church bells ringing to remind them to watch it on the 8th. It'll pop up as and when, but it'll, it'll probably be Monday. And Sunday we get back to doing the normal chat, whatever that is. <laughs> anyway, let's get going with Dendrobium Lindleyi. Okay, Dendrobium Lindleyi. This is a resting type Dendrobium and it's now into April. Now, depending on your environment, temperatures, light levels, drops in temperature, specifically in the winter time, brightness of light during the winter time, yours may well, in some parts of the world, be in bloom now. Yeah, mine isn't. Now, under normal circumstances in my previous environment, I would probably have spikes on this by now. But due to the way this environment works, everything starts late. So at the moment, I've started watering and I'm introducing a bit of feed to go with the increase in the temperatures in my environment to try and force this into growth. Hopefully that growth will be preceded by some spikes. But this time round, due to the poor growing season last year and the way I started my winter, we might not get any blooms at all this year. I mean, it's a mature plant. It's bloomed for the last two years. You can see where the spikes were. But I've just had a good look round this and there are no spikes. There's not a sign of a spike. This large... Um, cane at the back, the one sticking bolt up right there, is the one most likely to bloom because I know that was a new growth last year. But as I said, at the moment we have no spikes. Now we still may get some, but as far as I'm concerned I'm, I'm now trying to force this back into growth. In my old environment it would have already done that. We'd have had the spikes progressing, we might even be coming towards blooming, but we're not here. So at the moment, this plant looks no different to last time we looked at it. But what I'm doing to look after it has changed. I have reintroduced water and it does get a bit of feed. So um, we will see what happens. Um, between now and next time, we may get blooms. We should get new growth starting. We might be lucky and get both, but I've got no guarantees. So that's what's happening with this one. Um, it's not going to bloom as well here as I believe it did in the last one, in the last um, grow room. But we'll see what we can do. I'm hoping that this season's growth, due to forcing spring with temperature and stuff, is going to give me a much better growing season for these type of plants. So we'll have to wait and see. So this was April. The next time we look at this will be the beginning of June. So we're heading towards midsummer by then. <laughs> we ought to have some new growth, didn't we, really? <laughs> See you next time. Thanks for dropping by.